the peptides have a kind of more broader and more gentler action than, than our pharmaceuticals. And so for example, if we're gonna start somebody on a peptide like BPC-157, we may see you know, improvements in their joint pain. It may just take four to six weeks for them to start to notice that because it is, it's a little bit slower acting because it's not as direct and specific as something like ibuprofen, right? Everybody's got joint pain knows you take ibuprofen, usually within 20, 30 minutes, you're feeling better, right? It doesn't last long term, but it has a very strong acute effect. These peptides though, they take longer, but because of our body's great ability, you know, we, we have these peptides already in us, so they obviously serve really important functions is we can actually get full resolution of symptoms sometimes with these peptides. I've had many patients come to me who have had chronic joint pain and we start them on peptides like BPC-157 or thymosin beta-4 and three months later, they're 90 to 100% pain free. We stop the peptides and the pain doesn't return. And so we can actually get some true healing and regeneration with these peptides, which I think is absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, especially like you were saying, you know, it's naturally occurring in your body. So your body's not going to reject it per se or, you know, some potential unintended consequence of some of the the other medications like an IV. Yeah. yeah. You know, over systemic use, you know, could start wearing on other things like your your kidneys and the liver, yeah. Significant yeah. consumption, but but nonetheless. Yep. Yeah.